In today's video, I want to talk about a river birch tree. Now, I planted this river birch 27 years ago. <laughs> it doesn't look that great right now because it's early spring and it's just starting to put on leaves. Now, every spring, I go out and I trim the lower limbs on my tree. If I don't, you'll get smacked in the face when you're mowing around the tree. But this year, I noticed, some, noticed something very unusual. The sap was dripping from the tree. I mean, it was dripping a lot. I mean, it seemed as if the tree had sprung a leak. It was leaking or crying or bleeding. Uh, I drug the limbs away and it was still dripping. It was still dripping. Every day for several days, I went out to see if the tree was still leaking. And it was. It dripped for five days. Now I've done a little research about a river birch. River birch are native to southeast United States. They're a very pretty tree. They're ornamental. They have that very attractive peeling bark. But something very interesting I found in my research was that Native Americans actually collected the sap, boiled the sap, and used it as a sweetener. I guess like you would maple syrup. I also found out that it was okay to prune your river birch in the springtime. That's actually the best time to prune it. And that this bleeding, weeping, leaking is not unusual. And there's no need to wrap your tree, try to stop that leaking. It's better to let air get to those wounds so it can dry up naturally. Well, I love my river birch and I was happy to know that I didn't harm it by causing this leaking or bleeding from the tree. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.